Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Val, short for Valerie, if you are new to my channel. So today I just basically wanted to share with you all of the tools that I use on my relaxed hair to keep it healthy. So on a day-to-day -day basis, weekly basis, monthly, just everything that I use to maintain the health of my relaxed hair. So I get a lot of questions as to what I use and where I get it from. So I figured why not share everything in this one video. That way it's easier for you guys and yeah, I can just share everything all in one place, right? It just makes more sense. So if you're interested, keep on watching. All right, so first things first, on a day-to-day -day basis, you guys, I use my satin scarf and my bonnet. So here's the satin scarf. I got this from the beauty supply store. You can basically get a satin scarf anywhere, Amazon, Walmart, whatever works for you. But this is what it looks like. It's a complete square, but I always make it into a triangle just to cover my hair. And then I have my satin bonnet. So inside is satin lined. And this is what I use on a nightly basis, you guys. You can use a satin pillowcase as well. I have one, I can't find it, but um, I tend to use my satin scarf and bonnet more so on a day-to-day -day basis, but they haven't done me wrong. It traps in all the moisture as I sleep, and then in the morning, my hair is nice and moisturized. So these two go hand in hand, and I can't do without them. All right, so next up is my combs. So you guys know I use my wide tooth comb, not a day-to-day -day basis, but throughout the week. So I wanna say maybe two to three times throughout the week, I'll pick up my wide tooth comb. So this is from Amazon. This is a Magic Star um, Hercules Sage Sigmund um, wide tooth comb I love this I've been using this for years it is seamless so by seamless I mean there's no seams in between the teeth of the comb to snag on the hair so it pulls through the hair really nice and easy no snagging on your strands if you know me you know I love this comb I absolutely adore it it's been in my regimen for years or in my routine for years in terms of just maintaining my hair and I got another one so you know it's real when you have two of the same thing I kid you not you guys the best comb ever all right so next up is my boar bristle brush it's actually 100% boar bristle so you know it's nice and soft and it won't cause excessive breakage or just it won't be harsh on your strands or on your scalp so I'll typically reach for this if I'm doing like a nice smooth sleek look which is maybe once or twice out of the week so it's not too often that I'll pull this out but it definitely comes in handy for my high buns or my low buns so if I'm gonna be styling my hair like in a ponytail a low bun high bun I don't reach for this anymore you guys so I no longer use this ponytail holder. You guys have seen me use this in my other videos where I'm doing like a low bun or a high bun. So I no longer use this headband, you guys. It served me well, but it did create a lot of tension in my hair and I wasn't really aware of it. So now I've switched out these to satin scrunchies. So let me just show you guys what it looks like. And I got these off of Amazon. I think five come in the box. I actually got a brand new box. Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> I don't play when it comes to my accessories or my tools for my hair. So I now use this satin scrunchie. So my hair right now is being secured with this and you guys there's no snagging it's so soft and silky on my strands it just works it's not too tight it's not too loose either so definitely um, switched over to satin scrunchies and I have no regrets so this is my edge brush um, I got this off of Amazon I think I've seen it also at the beauty supply store so here it has a nice brush on the end and then like a comb on the other side and here you can use to like part your hair as well so it's like a three-in-one which is pretty cool so I use this today just to kind of sweep up my edges make my hairline nice and neat so this is something that I don't use on a day-to-day -day basis like every single day I won't be using this brush but I do use it maybe two to three times out of the week if I'm wearing like a headband wig and I want to just swoop my edges I'll take this out or if I'm doing a high or low bun as well I'll use this all right so next up I have my bobby pins so I use this basically on a day-to-day -day basis for my buns or any style that I'm doing I tend to reach for these bobby pins and you can never have too many because for some reason they always wind up lost you can never find them and you guys know I also secure my wigs with this as well I don't use glue I don't use spray so this is something that I definitely reach for if I'm gonna be wearing a wig or even to secure the back of my headband wigs instead of using the comb I'll reach for these bobby pins all right so next up I have these claw clips and I got these off of Amazon so I'll typically reach for this on a day-to-day -day basis if I don't want to wear a bun so I'll grab one of these and I've actually kind of been a little obsessed with these claw clips I actually got some gold ones and they're super pretty you guys know I love gold anything gold is me these are from Amazon you guys like how pretty 
is this. So this one's kind of like a rectangular squarish look and they actually don't snag on your hair. So that's a plus, but look how pretty those are. Like so gorgeous. Definitely a fave. So these are the things that I use just to kind of keep my hair up out of the way. If I don't want to do a bun, I'll grab one of those claw clips and just have like a nice updo. And just to piggyback off of the claw clips and accessorizing and hair tools, I also love headbands, you guys. So as you guys can see, I have this gold one. This is from Amazon. I will link it down below. So here are a few that I like to use. I got this one here from Aldo. It's very durable, nice and heavy. You know I love anything black and gold. And then I have um, the same one I'm wearing, but I have it in black. Basically matches everything in my wardrobe, so I tend to reach for these more so, but nothing like a headband to just jazz up your overall look. Oh, I almost forgot. Okay, so in terms of hair pins, I also use these ones. They're kind of like a U-shape, so they're kind of open in a way. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, so they're ball tipped on the ends so when you're pushing them through they don't cause any damage to your scalp or any snagging to your ends so i tend to use these pins if i'm doing like a high bun or a low bun so instead of securing like any flyaways or any ends with a pin um i'll reach for this and just push it in like that and secure it so it works perfectly there's no breakage whatsoever with these so i like to have both of these in rotation so if i don't have any bobby pins left i have my um ball tipped pins these open u-shaped hairpins as a backup. So next up is my shower cap. So this is what I use on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm having a shower and I don't want my hair wet. This is what it looks like. It is um, plastic inside super loud. I got this from the dollar store. It's actually pretty effective despite it being two bucks. Dollar store can come in clutch sometimes. So I'll use this shower cap on a day-to-day -day basis if I'm not washing my hair and it does a really good job at just protecting my hair from the water and keeping it dry. All right, so next up is my water bottle. So I'll reach for this maybe three to four times out of the week. It's definitely not daily, but I do reach for it. So I'll mist my hair with some water first and then I'll go in with my moisturizer, my sealant, and then I'll style. There's nothing like water just to rehydrate your hair so this is something that I like to reach for every so often throughout the week all right so next up is weekly tools so tools that I use on a weekly basis to maintain my hair and that basically encompasses wash day items first up are my claw clips I use this just to section off my hair you guys have seen me use this in my wash day videos so these really come in handy just to help section off the hair and just you know be able to see what you're doing so these are definitely a must-have so next up I have my deep conditioning caps and this is what it looks like so I got these off of Amazon it comes in like that really tight packaging and then you just open it up and this is what the conditioning cap looks like and if you know me I used to use shopping bags I used to use shopping bags to deep condition don't get it twisted they worked I don't know ever since I discovered these off of Amazon I've just been pulled to purchase these instead and I also use these processing caps so I mentioned this in my previous video for tips for thicker hair this is something that you can use if you don't have a heat source for some reason it just insulates the heat a lot better and it will help the conditioner to penetrate really really well so either one but this is typically what I use if I'm using heat like my heat cap my um, hooded dryer I'll reach for this but if I'm doing chores around the house and I'm out and about and just everywhere I'm busy I'll reach for this okay so now that we're talking about deep conditioning I get a lot of questions on this heat cap although I've mentioned it a few times in my videos on my blog and on my Instagram but this heat cap is something that I truly truly love like look how beautiful that is so I got this off of Amazon and this is something that I figured would be um, a good tool to have in my um, regimen or in my routine because it just gives you options right so you can travel with this you can be in your bed with this on like you just have options in that sense and switch it from high to low and this thing gets hot you guys like super super hot I wear glasses and this thing fogs up my glasses completely like it's it's super funny but it gets hot so don't take it simple although it's small it really it's a powerhouse so it has a drawstring on the back so you can tighten it if you want just to fit your headset Size, but I have a pretty big head and all my hair fits and then some and it's portable it's small it works efficiently it makes your deep conditioner work that much more better so it's been a great purchase and I've shared this with you guys I know a lot of you guys have actually purchased this as well and it's not going anywhere in my regimen
Love it. All right, so as you guys can see, I have my steamer. <laughs> I get so many questions on this steamer. This steamer has been amazing in my hair care journey, in my routine, in my regimen. I absolutely love it. So this has been in my regimen, I wanna say since 2011. So I've had it for over 10 years now and it's still going strong. So I get a lot of questions as to where I got the steamer from. My husband actually purchased it as a gift for me back in the day. So it was a birthday gift and I don't know where he got it from. It was somewhere local here in Toronto. It wasn't online. It was like from like an industrial type of shop thing. I don't know how we found it, but um, they were selling them at the time. So I can't find it again. I don't know where it is, but I have seen similar ones online. I wanna say the name of it is KT3010, something like that. I'll put it on the screen for you guys. What I love most too is that the hood is extremely big. So it gets your name, it gets the front, it gets everywhere perfectly. So here's where the water goes. This only takes distilled water. It doesn't take tap water because there's minerals and chlorine and stuff like that that can actually ruin the system. So I only use distilled water in my steamer. That way it just preserves the life of it. And my hair obviously gets the benefits of distilled water as well. All right, so here's what the back looks like. And I have the on and off buttons here and the timer. So I typically set my steamer for about maybe 30 minutes or so. That way everything can just penetrate deeply and my conditioner has enough time to work. So yeah, guys, that's where I got it from. I get a ton of questions as to where it's from and all that, but I can't seem to find it online, the exact same one. I wanna say Keller for Salon actually had it but I don't know if they're actually still selling it unfortunately so I'll find similar ones and I'll link it down below so I like to rotate between this my hooded dryer and my heat cap so usually it ends up being on a bi-weekly or a monthly basis I'll bring out my steamer so here is my hooded dryer I absolutely love 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 this and I got this as a Christmas present from my husband he purchased this from lclbeauty.com so check them out if you're interested and up here you have all all the knobs so if you want to change the temperature or how long you're using it for or the speed of the air circulating you can do that up here so it opens up here it's also adjustable just like my steamer and what I love about this hooded dryer you guys is that it's super quiet I had the golden hot hooded dryer before and that thing was just super loud like you couldn't hear anyone when you're under that dryer like it's just not happening but with this one it's completely different it's quiet it doesn't take that much energy either and it has that multi-function so you can dry your hair you can deep condition under it you can do roller sets you can dry flexi rods or perm rods so it has that variety I love this use it typically on a weekly basis definitely something that I keep in rotation in my hair tools okay so next up when I'm drying my hair after wash day is done you guys know I like to blow dry on cool air so I like to reach for my babyless blow dryer so this I use to help dry my hair so what I love most about this dryer is that it has two cool shot settings so it has this blue um, button right here that you can just press and then also has this cool setting right here if you haven't seen my blow drying on cool air video be sure to check that out I use this and it just works perfectly it dries my hair it makes my cuticles nice and smooth and it just speeds up the whole air drying process this is definitely something that I like to reach for on a weekly basis of course when I'm drying my hair I like to do the scarf method so here is my scarf love 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 using this I got a lot of questions as to where I got this scarf from and I got this from the beauty supply store this is um, something that I got years and years and years ago there are similar ones on Amazon and I'll link that down below if you are interested so I use this scarf to lay down my edges when I'm stretching my relaxer so when I'm like maybe five or six weeks post relaxer I'll put this on and it does an amazing job at just smoothing my hairline and keeping my edges nice and smooth and intact so I'll reach for this and it just does wonders or if I'm wearing a high bun or a low bun and I wanted to set the front of my hair to make it nice and smooth and neat I'll use my satin scarf as well so it's multi-purpose in that sense. I love it and I always, always, always reach for it when I'm trying to set my hairline. So this is definitely um, used on a weekly basis. So this is my conditioner bowl and my brush. So I typically like to use this on a weekly basis if I'm mixing oils into my deep conditioner. So I like to mix in my avocado oil, olive oil, coconut oil, my 3PO, you guys already know. So I'm mixing those oils with a conditioner that may not have oils. I put everything in here, mix it all around, apply it to my hair and my hair is just it just loves it. 
absolutely loves it. So these two are definitely not going anywhere. I like to reach for this on a weekly basis as well. And they've been around in my regimen for years. So I got this shower filter off of Amazon and this is the Lima's Care shower filter. This is something that you definitely wanna have in your arsenal if you are having hard water issues or if you have dryness or unexplainable breakage, shedding, scalp issues as well, or even skin issues, this is really, really good to have. So on the front here, it says it has a high output universal shower filter with a 15 stage water purification. It just purifies your water for you, removes all of those toxic chemicals from your water. That way you're getting the best water for your hair and your skin. So on the back here, it says that it's good for 12 months. Um, it removes chlorine. It's a 15 stage high performance filter. It removes algae, fungi, bacteria, heavy metals. It also has another shower filter in here, so it comes with two. So it's basically good for 12 months. You can't go wrong. Definitely a good deal. So this is something that I use on a weekly basis for my hair. And yeah, it is a hair tool that I swear by. So here we have my t-shirt, you guys. I use this for t-shirt drying and I've gotten so many questions as to where I got this from and how much is it and where can I buy it. It's like people don't believe me when I say, honestly, it's a t-shirt, you guys from Walmart. Actually, you know what? No, it's a nightgown. I lied. It's a nightgown from Walmart. Use this to t-shirt dry and I have no issues. Some use towels, some use microfiber, some use t-shirts. I'm a t-shirt girl. It just works for me. It's soft and it's gentle on my hair. It absorbs the excess water perfectly, so I can't complain. I actually like to use my husband's t-shirts. <laughs> I'm guilty. I use my husband's t-shirts to dry my hair. He gets super upset, but his t-shirts are bigger. Like mine are smaller, they're more cute and cut and you know, more trim. It's not gonna cover my hair properly. So I like to use his and I also like to use nightgowns as well to dry my hair. So nothing special you guys. Of course, I would tell you if it's something that I purchased online or anywhere else in stores, but it's a nightgown from Walmart. So these are no snag elastic bands. So I'll secure my ends or each braid with these elastics instead of um, perm rods if I don't want any curls on my ends when I'm doing a braid out. So this really comes in handy because there's no breakage when it comes to these. It doesn't snag or pull or snap and break on your ends. So I love that about them. It says here that they're smooth, coated for easy glide off experience. There's no tension or anything on your ends as well. It's good for any hair type. A hundred actually come in the package. And I got these off of Amazon. So definitely something that I use on a monthly yeah, a monthly basis or so when I want to do a braid out. So here are my perm rods. As I mentioned, I use these for braid outs and I love to have that nice curl on the ends occasionally just to create more fullness and volume in my braid outs. So I have these perm rods. I use maybe about six or seven or so all throughout my head and it gives me such a nice look and volume. I love them. So every couple months or so, I would pull this out and just create that low manipulation style using these. So here I have my applicator bottle. I got this from the beauty supply store. I wanna say it's six ounces, so it's really compact and cute. So I'll use this maybe every so often. I like to mix my oils in here. So maybe a little bit of castor oil with an essential oil, apply it to my roots. And then on my ends, I'll put my deep conditioner. So having this is really handy because you can just mix any oils you want have your own oil blend and then apply it to your hair so it's good for oiling your scalp doing a hot oil treatment so the possibilities are endless you can also put like a rinse in here and just kind of squirt it over your hair if you want to do like an apple cider vinegar rinse this is really good to use definitely something to include in your arsenal or tools in your hair care regimen. All right, so last but not least, I have my shears from Amazon. And as I mentioned before in my um, tips for thicker hair, this is something that I wanna use on a monthly basis to just maintain the ends of my hair. So here on the packaging, it says that it's high quality stainless steel alloy by hand. The hardness of the steel can only be kept extremely sharp by laser cutting. Scissors are hard enough to last five to eight years. So these are really, really sharp and I love them and I can't wait to start using them on a consistent basis. So as I mentioned in my previous video, my whole plan with these shears is to basically maintain my hemline and just maintain healthy blunt ends. So my plan is to use this on a monthly basis in between my trims just to keep my ends nice and healthy. So having shears and really good quality shears, not your kitchen scissors or not your craft scissors, but using high quality shears is definitely the way to go. 
gloves are part of my tools when I'm relaxing my hair just to protect my hands from the chemical. And I get my gloves from the beauty supply store. So there's about 10 in here, size small, and you can get them for $1.99. So gloves would definitely be something that I use beyond a month, obviously, because I relax every 10 to 12 weeks. So this is something that I would grab just for relaxer day. All right, so next up are these items here. So this bowl I use to put my relaxer in. So I scoop out relaxer from the tub put it in here that way I'm not dipping constantly in the relaxer and possibly decreasing its strength because if you're dipping in there with the natural oils from your hair you could be decreasing the relaxer strength right so I scoop out what I need I put it in here and then I use my brush to scoop it out and apply it to my hair so this tool is really handy I personally love my brush only because it doesn't have those bristles it's kind of like that spatula silicone material so I prefer this because as you're applying the relaxer the brush can actually irritate and scratch your scalp and cause unnecessary burning so this has been really good for relaxer day and of course this comb it's been through a lot <laughs> It's missing teeth, but I use this, or my sister uses this actually in the back to smooth um, the relaxer through three times in my new growth because back here is really, really coarse and it tends to be under processed more so than the front. So it really needs the comb more so, but the front process is really, really good with just the brush. So these three, these tools I use on an every 10 to 12 week basis for relax today only. All right, so here I have my combs. So I have my paddle brush, demon brush, regular comb and a fine tooth comb. Ah, so here's my paddle brush and I use this for uh, blow drying or just combing my wigs. <laughs> So I'll use this to help with the blow drying process and just straightening my hair. I don't use it that often because I like to air dry and then flat iron. So here's my Demon brush and I don't use this in my hair but um, it does work pretty well in terms of detangling so I may try using it but I like to use it in my wigs. <laughs> it really helps with the chase comb method. So with these two combs right here I'll use either or for flat ironing. I'll typically reach for this one because I can part with this easily because this part's pretty pointy and then I'll use this part for the chase comb method when I'm flat ironing or I'll reach for this um, it just depends on whatever's available but these two are reserved mainly for flat ironing all right so here's my flat iron you guys and I use this on a every 10 to 12 week basis so it's definitely not monthly um, more so every two two and a half to three months so I'll use this to flat iron my hair flat iron my wigs and it just works wonders the plates are actually one and a half inch so it's really big so you can get through your hair pretty fast the plates heat up perfectly evenly they don't snag on your ends either and I want to say the temperature goes up to 450 but I don't use it that high I love this I got this off of follica.com years ago and it's been going strong since this is definitely something that has been around it's tried and true and it's not going anywhere all right so next up we have this wide tooth comb and it's a little bit smaller than my typical wide tooth comb that I use so when my hair is flat ironed or blow dried I like to comb my hair with this because the teeth are much closer together so it can kind of give me a nice sleek finish so it really helps to just further detangle my hair after my wide tooth comb and last but not least here is my glass spray bottle for my black tea rinses I love the fact that it's glass and I can store it easily in the fridge with no issues so I like to use this on a every month or so maybe a little bit beyond that um, just to spray in my scalp just to help with shedding so obviously it's done so I have to make another batch but I like to label my rinses or my deep conditioners my hair Masks. that way I know okay it's been a year or so or 18 months it's time to get rid of this product that way I'm not using expired products and that brings me to my labeling tool so you guys have seen this in my organize with me uh, video so I swear by this this thing has been amazing so I got this off of Amazon as well so I've used this to label the gold baskets that are behind me that way I know what products are in what so I have my cleansers my moisturizers my deep conditioners my protein my oils etc so I've labeled all of them just using Using this tool and I absolutely love it so it's definitely part of my hair care tools as well because I'm labeling my hair care products so I used it to label this spray bottle and I also use it to label my deep conditioners on the back of this Tejan hair mask I labeled it August 1st 2021 so that was the first time I opened it this is actually good for 12 months so I have up until August to use all of this so overall this has been really good in terms of just tracking when I've opened certain products or when I created a rinse or an oil blend 
blend that way I know it's not expired and it's still fresh and good to use it's definitely been um, a tool that I love and use and reach for and it's really helped me to just organize my space because without it I don't know <laughs> all right guys so that is basically it I've shared everything that I use everything that I swear by where hair tools are concerned on a daily weekly or monthly and beyond that basis so I hope you enjoyed this video be sure to give me a thumbs up comment down below any other questions that you may have or anything that I may have forgotten I'll answer down below subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in the next video